Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video here on the Bitch Start Podcast channel and we're coming to you straight after the Barcelona versus Valencia game which ended just about uh, now in a draw, a two-all draw between Barcelona and Valencia, a game where um, Barcelona, I think, would be probably happy with the draw. I mean, that might sound weird, but really, since the starting lineup was announced, really, a lot of eyebrows were raised about the choices made by uh, Ronald Koeman, certainly not starting with Frankie de Jong is one of those um, why you wouldn't start with your best player arguably in the in the squad at the moment, probably aside from Lionel Messi, the most effective probably player in the midfield, specifically considering he chose to play with a 4-1-4-1, a formation you know, designed specifically to attack and to put more uh, focus on attacking. Um, Barcelona looked, you know, the usual absent self, I would say, in the in the last 30, in the first 30 minutes of the game. Um, really, they were ineffective, passing the ball sideways, trying too much to play the crossing and trying to play diagonally a lot. Um, they couldn't do that. Brithwaite isn't exactly the most effective striker when it comes to uh, heading the ball in. Um, Valencia were, you know, compact, playing on the counter. They were really dangerous on the counter, more dangerous than Barcelona were at any point of the game. Really, Tess Stegen, I think, pulled some incredible saves in the first half. Um, mistakes, um, some unforced mistakes that were bad by the right back and left back for Barcelona. Defending on the set pieces was horrible. That's the way they conceded the first goal, really, um, from a set piece. Bad marking in the box for um, for Diakabe, who uh, went and left alone free from any marking and had the ball in for one nil lead. Barcelona afterwards managed to turn the game around with a contentious penalty late on in the first half, really. I'm saying contentious just to put it mildly, I don't think that was a penalty in any way. Shape of form, I thought Griezmann, you know, made a lot of it. Uh, the referee decided, first of all, to send Gaia off originally, but then went to VAR, checked it, and um, an annulled and cancelled the red card booking. Um, in the second half, Barcelona started really well. Of course, I should mention that they scored that penalty from the rebound after Messi missed uh, on the first time. The second half, Barcelona started really strong. They did made a lot of impact, a lot of chances, I think, with De Jong coming in for Busquets, which should have been the starting lineup already. De Jong should have started that game. Coming on in the second half, he gave them more directness in the first 10 minutes or so. They looked really better for it. They forced some incredible saves at Dominic. They forced uh, incredible chances um, against Valencia and they scored, of course, the equaliser. Uh, the second goal, sorry, uh, from Ronald Raujo, brilliant um, volley uh, technique to score the second goal inside the first 10 minutes of the second half. After that, it was back to scare land pretty much for uh, Barcelona with Valencia really getting on the attack a lot. Um, despite the fact that De Jong was brought in to bring more directness into the attack, probably he wasn't doing exactly the same job defensively. I mean, Barcelona were not exactly good um, doing the, the defensive work. Um, you know, the, the players that are set up in front are not exactly profiled to be defensive minded, the likes of Pedri, certainly not Griezmann or Messi, and definitely not Brethwaite um, at in. Um, of course, uh, knocking on the door, Valencia had certain opportunities, they had spaces to leap in. In the 69th minute, um, Maxi Gomez comes in with the goods from across, uh, spaces behind Sergino Dest, who was not really the best, um, despite the praises that have been showered on him, he wasn't the best form of himself really. He lost a lot of uh, duels to the uh, to, to Cheryshev and, uh, and, and to Maxi Gomez on that right hand side. Duel draw, and after that of course Valencia were pretty convinced that the game is up, that they're holding up the draw, holding the point against Barcelona, an important point for them, and they certainly would have taken it in any way. Um, overall, bad bad draw uh, for Barcelona, coming straight after two games where they barely scraped victories. The games against Levante and Sociedad were not exactly easy, they barely scraped victory. Um, they still um, pretty low far from the from the top of the table. They thought they could have won. They had chances to win actually later on, but their ineffectiveness and sometimes rash decision making and, and, and stalling too much on the ball depending on the situation really hurt uh, Barcelona. Valencia will take the point. Barcelona probably still need to think about a lot of things. Roald Koeman is still have, having problems um, in the midfield department, still having defensive problems. 
How he's going to be sorting him out, nobody knows. How he's going to be turning things around, nobody knows as well. Um, we'll wait and see how Barcelona this season is going to pan out. That's all um, for this game, of course. If you're new to the channel, like, share and subscribe. Of course, go on to this video. How? What do you think of what happened in the Barcelona game? Uh, follow us on social media. I'm at SiteVSP on Twitter, Pitch Sideboard on Instagram. The links will be in the description. And listen to the podcasts on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or whatever you can get it from. Um, in the end, um, I will see you soon. I was your boy, the HOD, the PSP, and goodbye.